I'm afraid that someone's gonna be able to hack these cards and maybe kill people. Like Terminator and Skynet. Yeah. I'm afraid that they're gonna make an app to become self-aware and just wanna take anybody out. We're on the streets of downtown Pittsburgh. We're about to call an Uber and we're gonna check out, get a ride, talk to some drivers about how they feel sharing the road with self-driving Ubers. Travis Kalanick, the CEO of Uber, has said that by 2030, he wants the whole Uber fleet to be self-driving. Does that change how you think about the company? It takes away a lot of jobs and people's living. It's going to just use people for now to get them to start up the business and then go to self-driving cars. I think a lot of people who do this full-time are going to be really upset that they're going to lose a lot. I actually got laid off, so that's the reason why I'm doing Uber now. And my mom was actually doing it for about two months prior. Um, there's, there's days when my, when my mom goes out for like 12 hours and she'll make over $250 in a day. And people say that there's no jobs out there. That you could work for Uber. Uber wants to provide jobs. How does it feel that like the, the guy at the top of Uber eventually wants to replace you with a robot? Like most people that I've talked to anyway, I got laid off and it was the fastest and quickest way that I could start making money right away. I never really planned on doing this for the rest of my life, so I really do hope that it's successful. I think it's really cool that this is happening in our lifetime. There's a lot that Uber drivers don't like about Uber, but there's also a lot that they do like. All right, Levon is coming. I'm gonna show you a Corolla. He's actually already here. As far as I've been driving for Uber, been quite fabulous. Fun, neat, new. That's one of the driverless cars directly ahead of us. Ah, it's uh, doing good so far. It looks like it's driving pretty fair. People are driving, people know Uber, they advertise, it's a big business up here. They want to make a lot of money. They, that, that's, that's what the city's in for, is all that, all that new tax money that they can make. You know, there's no really, no good insurance into this for your health or anything like that. I guess robots don't really need insurance. No. In an email sent to its Pittsburgh fleet, an Uber executive said that new technology often leads to new work opportunities and that drivers could apply to be safety drivers in autonomous cars. Some drivers we spoke to, however, pointed out that the new jobs are highly skilled and that they might not be qualified. I think the respect that Uber is giving us is a, a nice opportunity. And to give it to, I guess, a, a car that can just drive itself would be kind of rude. <laughs>